Number 10. Heiser Defense Pocket $949 the Heiser Defense PS1 Pocket Shotgun, while boasting a unique design, falls short in several aspects. This single-shot 410-gauge shotgun is chambered for 2.5-inch rounds and is constructed with either stainless steel or titanium. Despite claims of durability and reliability, its limited capacity and single-shot functionality make it impractical for various shooting scenarios. The storage compartment, though a novel feature, does little to offset the gun's inherent limitations. Furthermore, the decision to venture into the firearm industry after over 50 years in manufacturing raises concerns about the company's expertise in this specific domain. Potential buyers may find the $499 starting price point unappealing, especially considering the market offers more versatile and reliable alternatives in the same price range. Overall, the Heiser Defense PS1 Pocket Shotgun appears to be a niche product with limited practicality and questionable value for prospective buyers. Number 9. Heckler & Coke VP70Z $989 the Heckler & Koch VP70Z, a semi-auto pistol, presents several drawbacks that deter enthusiasts and potential users. Featuring a polymer frame, it lacks the durability and robustness associated with other models in its class. The VP70Z, initially designed as a machine pistol, exhibits an outdated and cumbersome design, contributing to its unimpressive performance. Its trigger mechanism, a pioneering attempt at a striker-fired system, has proven to be unreliable, resulting in subpar accuracy and inconsistent trigger pulls. Number 8. Winchester Model 11 SL $900 The Winchester 1911, colloquially known as the Widowmaker, possesses a unique design featuring an auto-loading long recoil mechanism, pioneered by John Moses Browning. This self-loading shotgun, initially offered to Winchester, showcases unconventional features, including the absence of a traditional operating lever. Instead, it relies on a side button to unlock and retract the bolt, or a manual cycling method involving physically manipulating the barrel. However, these distinctive elements contribute to its reputation as a challenging and awkward firearm to operate. The stiffness and awkwardness during usage, coupled with the potential danger of inadvertently pointing the muscle at oneself while cocking, have earned it the ominous moniker. While some may find it a nostalgic collector's item or a unique range toy, the Winchester 1911's peculiar design and handling quirks make it less desirable for those seeking a practical and user-friendly shotgun. Number 7. Raven MP25 $179. The Raven Arms MP25, originating from the 1970s and continuing production until the early 1990s under Phoenix Arms, is a .25 ACP pistol known for its affordability rather than performance. Weighing a mere 13.8 ounces, it is constructed from Zamac, a zinc alloy, making it lightweight but compromising on durability. The design features a fixed barrel, low-profile fixed sights, and a manual safety that has raised concerns about potential firing issues upon release. This assembly is relatively straightforward for cleaning, involving trigger manipulation and slide removal. Number 6. Smith & Wesson M&P $679 the M&P FPC folding carbine prides itself on a design centered around portability, featuring a folding mechanism for enhanced convenience. However, its specifications may disappoint those seeking top-tier performance. The firearm adopts a standard caliber, lacking the potency and range expected in contemporary carbines, limiting its effectiveness in various shooting scenarios. Concerns about build quality have surfaced, with users reporting durability and reliability issues that could compromise safety during operations. The ergonomics fall short, causing discomfort during prolonged use and potentially affecting accuracy. Moreover, the firearm's limited accessory compatibility hampers customization options, restricting users from optimizing their shooting experience. 
Regrettably, the MNP FPC folding carbine fails to meet expectations for performance, durability, and versatility, making it a less preferable choice for discerning users. Its design emphasis on portability does not compensate for the apparent shortcomings in essential attributes expected from a reliable firearm. As users weigh their options, these considerations may lead them to explore alternative carbine models that offer a more balanced combination of power, durability, and customization possibilities. Number 5. Rogat P18 – $1,700 Manufactured in the late 70s and early 80s as an emulation of the Steyr Model GB, the Rogak P18 falls disappointingly short in several key areas. Despite its attempt to mimic a military-style service weapon with an 18-shot magazine and an all-stainless steel construction, this pistol is marred by significant manufacturing flaws. The gas-delayed blowback system, designed to replicate the innovative Stair GB, is poorly executed, functioning more like a straightforward blowback mechanism. Machining issues further plague the forearm, evident in rough edges, voids, and uneven surfaces, showcasing a subpar level of craftsmanship. Additional modifications such as recoil-absorbing stack and the removal of the extractor claw underscore the pistol's inadequacies. The presence of a serial number range raises suspicions of potentially licensing or implementing issues. Overall, the Rogat P18 fails to meet the standards expected of a reliable and well-crafted firearm. Number 4. HKSL8 – $1,700 the HNK SL8-1, often regarded as a conventional firearm, exhibits a design that resembles a futuristic take on the G36 due to import restrictions during the 80s and 90s. Sporting a unique magazine layout, the SL8-1 employs a single-stack, translucent magazine cut from the left half of a G36 mag, limiting its capacity to a mere 10 rounds. The ambidextrous controls and charging handle system mimic the G36, while a polymer handguard, subject to controversy regarding its impact on accuracy, adds to the rifle's unconventional features. The gas piston design, coupled with a non-threaded barrel and thumb hole stock, reflects compromises made to adhere to import regulations. Despite its distinctive appearance, the SL8-1 fails to impress in practical terms. The thumb hole stock, though visually appealing, proves uncomfortable and impractical in use. The limited magazine capacity and non-adjustable stock length further hinder its usability. Reliability concerns have surfaced, questioning its performance compared to other firearms. In essence, the HNK SL8-1, born out of import restrictions, falls short of being an optimal choice due to its peculiar design elements and compromises made to meet regulatory requirements. Number 3. Boito Double $400 The FIE Boito side-by-side, -side, marketed as the Brazilian Wonder 12, is a 12-gauge shotgun imported by firearms import and export from Miami, Florida. Manufactured by Boito, this firearm has earned a dubious reputation, being considered by some as the epitome of a budget utilitarian shotgun. The design is reminiscent of what critics disparagingly term Saturday night specials of shotguns, suggesting a lack of refinement in both form and function. Boasting a simplistic build, the firearm exhibits a noticeable compromise in fit and finish compared to more reputable counterparts. According to some assessments, it ranks as the second-worst shotgun available in America. Despite its no-frills approach, the FIE Boito 12-gauge is characterized by a distinctive roll stamp on the barrel, reflecting cost-cutting measures in its production. While the takedown and reassembly process is demonstrated as straightforward, the firearm's overall performance is underwhelming. The trigger pull, though described as light and crisp, cannot fully redeem the shotgun's perceived shortcomings. This shotgun may appeal to those seeking a budget option, but its lackluster reputation and purported drawbacks make it a less desirable choice for those who prioritize reliability, aesthetics, and a refined shooting experience. 
Number 2. Saltwood Brownings $250 the Browning Super Post, a firearm from California, presents a series of concerning specifications that might deter potential users. This model exhibits a recurring issue with its forearm bracket, prone to bending and cracking due to recoil stress, particularly problematic for beaver tail forearms. The latch mechanism of this gun is reported to frequently jump open during fire, impeding proper engagement. The loose top rib, extending from the front to the middle, poses a significant risk of future bracket breakage, compromising the structural integrity of the firearm. Number 1. Remington CTI-105 $1,200 the Remington 105 CTI, introduced in 2007, boasts a unique design featuring a carbon titanium receiver, distinguishing it from conventional shotguns. This semi-auto firearm incorporates a bottom ejection mechanism and a distinctively positioned operating handle for the bolt, aiming to set itself apart in the market. Despite its initial appeal and aesthetic features, the 105 CTI faced significant drawbacks, contributing to its limited success. Reportedly, the shotgun suffered from operational issues, including jams and unreliable ejection of shells. This, coupled with its relatively high price range, between $1,200 and $1,500, led to poor sales and the subsequent release of a second variation in 2009, the 105 CT-12. The skepticism surrounding its performance, coupled with its low market demand, suggests that the Remington 105 CTI may not be an ideal choice for practical use, overshadowed by concerns about functionality and potential difficulties in handling various types of ammunition. That's all for this video, folks. See you next time.